Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Bobby D and I'm back again with another hot, juicy video. And as always, I'm joined by the swollest uh, hair consultant in Texas, Steve Bobby. Cook. <laughs> Thanks for being on my channel, Steve. And sure. if you aren't, aren't familiar, Steve has his own channel at Defeating Hair Loss. Uh, great channel. I make an appearance every now and then. My, my model. <laughs> I try my best. <laughs> Looking and good, Bobby. I do what I can. <laughs> and you know, when Steve's here, we talk about hair. And, you know, tonight's topic, Steve, you know, I've been looking online as I always do in search for, you know, better ways to, you know, preserve your hair and regrow it. And um, a supplement I found was Nanoxidil. Could be butchering that, but I heard it's kind of like Minoxidil, regrowing hair, but better. So I just kind of wanted uh, your thoughts and so you're the expert. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I love, you know, these kind of questions where it's not like I'm caught off guard, but where I, I'm just not hearing about this stuff. But there's a lot of information out there. It's it's hard to keep up with completely. And I'm like I always say, Bobby, I'm a big fan of whatever works. Mm -hmm. So the bad news about it is, or kind of not to be Mr. Negative, is I just haven't heard about it. So it's not like, you know, I'm talking to these patients every day. I'm, I've got them on WhatsApp and all that stuff, and I'm texting with them. And, oh my God, like this new product is incredible. I've been using it for six months and it's grown mm -hmm. on my hair. Because the first thing I want to do is go on all these channels, you know, David Demuzio, Bobby Dunlap, mm -hmm. Defeating Hair Loss, Dr. McGrath, all these different channels and get you guys growing hair. Mm -hmm. So I haven't heard of it yet. And when I do, or when I hear of anything, you guys will be the first to know. But I will say this, I'm open to it. Um, I, I will, you know, add that there's been through the years, many different companies that have come up with different ways to change the name of Minoxidil. Mm -hmm. um, it's just something that they can legally say their product grows hair. And that is because inside you're going to see, you know, the contents that it has a certain percentage of Minoxidil. I don't know if that's what this company's doing or not. Um, it sounds possible, but at the same time, if they've got some sort of new technology, which is some sort of a better version of minoxidil i'm ready to go the other thing i'll say bobby is i hope it's not a, a topical because you know i'm not a big fan of topicals. Yeah, same. <laughs> is it a topical do you know i, I think so don't quote me don't quote me. <laughs> yeah so the topicals are just labor intensive i mean listen i'll put myself up against anybody any age any time any gender whatever you want and if it's gonna grow hair, I'm gonna do it. I'll stand on my head, and right now I'm doing those isometrics against the wall, and they're pretty hard, you know? I'll do anything, okay? I'll take a middle seat in an airplane. I'll do anything, Bobby, to grow my hair back, or more hair of what I have now, I'm pretty happy. Um, but, you know, um, I, it, topicals are just really challenging. So I don't wanna poo-poo the product. Actually, I hope some of you out there, you know, can report back to you, Bobby, and talk about their success with it but I just haven't heard of those successes yet. Gotcha. Well, appreciate it, Steve. Thanks for joining me as always for the great in insight. And uh, if you like my channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and also check out Defeating Hair Loss. I make an appearance you know, every, every now and then. Check, check Steve's channel out, and uh, we will see you next time.